Welcome back. We got, uh, yeah, it's a Saturday. One of the last few nice days of the year, so we got a ton of boats out here today. There is music in the background. Hopefully this video doesn't get me demonetized because of it, but whatever, what are we gonna do? I really am starting to work pretty hard to find companies that offer some sort of discount code for you guys because you shouldn't pay full price. And uh, Pete's Tackle, I've already done a few videos with his stuff. These are some underspin setups that he makes. And then these are called slab grabbers. I gotta adjust this one. It's not hooked right, but these are called slab grabber uh, plastics. And so I got the chartreuse and then like a pink and yellow underspin. And then this one is an orange with a purple and pink. The three colors you need, chartreuse, white, and pink. They, uh, they will catch crappie pretty much anywhere. So the code is crappie, capital C, R-A-P-P-I-E. If you use that code when you purchase anything at Pete's Tackle, you get 10% off automatically. And that's good till the end of the year, December 31st. So don't, don't wait. So huge thanks to Pete's Tackle for one for sending me these and for giving you guys a discount code. We're gonna be doing some brush pile fishing again today. Set up in about 19, 20 feet of water. Uh, these crappie are gonna be gonna be in this depth pretty much all through September. Uh, once they get into October, they're probably gonna push out a little bit deeper in about 22 to 25 feet, right on that hard to soft bottom edge. Um, I've got some pretty good sonar actually from earlier in the year in March. It, it, these crappie just kind of move in the cycle. They start up real shallow in the springtime and up here it's probably May, that's usually when they spawn. You'll find them in less than five, six feet of water. They just keep getting deeper and deeper until they hit their winter phase when they suspend out in these winter basins and then as the ice melts in the northern states, these crappies start to push shallower, but in March and April, where there's open water on our lakes, you're gonna find them in the same exact spot you found them in October and November. They're gonna be in the same exact spot and they're gonna push back shallow to do the whole thing all over again. So. We're gonna be setting up on some brush piles, like I said. Hopefully, we'll catch a bunch of them. Bite's been a little tough this past couple days. And uh, there's been a lot of boat traffic because, well, it's been pretty nice the past week or so, so. There's some fish down there. I can see them on the live scope. Let's see if we can catch them. All right, tied on the underspins, like I said. And the main reason I went with the underspins is I got these, well, any type of blades. I gotta figure out a way to trigger these, these fish to bite because they've been super lethargic. I could go down in size, like I could start using some 32nd ounce jigs, but you know, these fish for the most part have been fairly aggressive over the past couple weeks. And then all of a sudden they just shut off over, I don't know, the past three or four days. We did have a, a storm from come through yesterday, but they, they were still kind of cold before that. Like it, water temps are still in the mid seventies. So you'd think they'd still be pretty active. We're gonna drop this down there. Hopefully these underspins trigger a bite. Also, it's gonna help me see it on the live scope a little better. You know, if you're brand new to live scope, using either eighth ounce jigs or something that's a little bigger of a profile really helps you out a lot in seeing and kind of pinpointing your jigs on the live scope. All right, well, I found some in open water. This is basically what they're gonna be like in the fall here. I'm at 23 feet, 24 feet. Where'd they go? They're back here a little bit. And they are just suspended all over the place. There must be a DJ on that boat. See, yeah, see them? They're just suspended all over the place right now. They're actually chasing, if I can find it, there's a massive school of bait fish right there. And they're just chasing them around. There's fish below the boat right now. So we're gonna go ahead and drop, let's just drop it straight down on these fish. These ones are super aggressive. I just caught one and they just swarmed on it. So those ones on the brush pile were very lethargic. So I guess these open water fish are what I'm gonna have to go after. Got them, yep. Yeah, these guys are super aggressive out here in open water because they're chasing these bait fish right now. These are some good frying pan fish. Chartreuse and white. Come on. Ooh, that hook is in there. There we go. These some good eaters. Uh, nah. If I catch a ton, I'll, I'll keep them. I only need probably about seven or eight, so. 
Yeah, they're just they're suspended all over the place. I can they're not tight. It's like they're they're in packs of like three or four, but they're suspended all off this little brake line here. There he is. And I'm not even feeling them because they're hitting it on the drop. Yeah, got that guy got in top jig. Yeah, they're hitting this thing on the drop right now. That guy came on the purple and pink. See, there's my jigs falling. See how they're just swarming at it? That's my top jig. You see, they're just swiping at it. Come on. Ideally, these underspins are meant to, to be casted out. Oh, there's a big pack. There's a big school of them right there. That's what you want to see. And ideally, these underspins are meant to be casted out. Oh, yeah, they're right. <laughs> Hold on, let me get this live scope set up and I'll show you guys what they're doing. Where do they go? All right, so there's the there's the school of crappie. If I turn the live scope just a bit, I might need to bump up the range. So there's the school of crappie, and that's the school of bait fish. I'll get a better shot when I get up there a little closer. There he is, there he is. Oh, funky hooked him. Funky hooked him. Oh no, he got it in his mouth. I just got it wrapped around the fin. Oh no, he, I lost my slab grabber. But I do want to show you in the live scope what they're doing. They're right below the boat. See, they're stacked. There's some right down in the bottom. There's some 10 feet down, stacked all over the place. But these fish are chasing big schools of bait fish right now. There he is, <laughs> got it right on the drop. Right on the drop. Find the bait, find the fish. That's true for any species. Let's see, bud. It looks like there's some bigger ones down deeper. See, there's some there's some bigger fish down deeper, I think. I'm gonna drop it all the way down. Hopefully we can get down there. Cause it looks like these little ones are chasing it as soon as it gets to, to their depth at like 10 feet down. It seems like they really want to hit it on the drop, which is it's a tough bite to uh, to feel. Oh shoot, there was one. You really gotta watch the line with when they do that. And it's super hard when you're doing a double jig setup because especially if they hit the top jig. It can get a little tricky. Uh, I push out of them. God, their school is just stacked right now. Look at that. They're not holding over anything. They're just sitting on the edge of these these bait fish and they're waiting for their feeding time. Oh, there did I get them? No, I missed them. Come on, fellas. I know it's dead calm, but you got a bite. Oh, there he was. Got him. Got him that time. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> wow. That's a good crappie. Ouch. That's a good crappie. <laughs> the bigger crappie are out in the open. Those are the ones we're after. Slab grabbers. I'm trying to grab some slabs. In the open water, what is this guy? Oh, he's 11 and a quarter. There we go. 11 and a quarter. Those are the crappie we're after. Ooh, there's some. Yep, there he is. Dropped it right on him. This is our typical nine incher. It's typically what we're going to catch on this lake. But there were some bigger fish with him. 
they're in a small, small little wolf pack. See you, buddy. There he is. Getting these guys trolling on the bottom. Top jig. There's our fat. It's got a solid back on him. 10 incher. Actually, let's see what he is. It seems like these bigger, these fatter fish are out in the open. Let's see what he is really quick. Yeah, he's. See, buddy. Got him. There we go. Top jig. Man, it is. Uh, even these ones kind of shut down here. It's been a tough bite the past few days. Basically, what I'm finding them. They're, they're just suspended out in the open. I think the best way to actually fish for these, I mean, you can cast for them if you don't have, if you have live scope, but the best way to fish for these is long line for them or just troll, troll the trolling motor and put these jigs about, I mean, these fish, some of them are five feet below the surface. Some of them are two feet off the bottom and 24 feet of water. So just vary your baits a little bit. Get some boot tail swim baits, paddle tail swim baits like these. They're feeding on bait fish. All right, well, that's gonna end it on this 30-day video. Check out Pete's Tackle. Again, promo code for 10% off is Crappie, capital C, R-A-P-P-I-E. Go ahead, check out the slab grabbers. Go ahead, check them out. 10% off anything. You can, Pete's Tackle had that, that uh, hand-tied jig box. I think it went pretty quick. He, he didn't have very many, it's a limited edition. But he's got a bunch of cool stuff on his website, 10% off. Trying to get you as many promo codes as I possibly can to, so you guys can try out a bunch of different lures and, and gear and stuff like that. So appreciate you watching. Hope you're enjoying the 30-day video challenge series. I might get off the lake. There's a, there's a lot of boat traffic on this lake right now. And yeah, that music is nonstop. Nonstop. If you haven't figured out, I'm trying to block film a few of these. I'm trying to film like two or three in one day on the weekends because uh, I still have a full-time job. So trying to get some of these videos done. And uh, I've been listening to that 808 hit for the past like five and a half hours. Yeah, it's been a fun day. I hope your days are better than mine right now.